another review today and I'm back with 81 Bay Brewing. This is from Tampa, Florida. Shout out to my brother in Tampa that sent this to me. Much love. I've been waiting to get into this. This is their uh, Jojo Beans. It's a coffee porter that is 6% ABV. And the can artwork on here is dope. Shout out to the artist. It says uh, Jamie Jones. I'm going to have to look this person up. Follow him because I'm liking this. To me, it looks like, um, <laughs> just to keep it on, it looks like Mario with a, a sailor cap on. He's smoking a pipe and he's drinking his, his coffee early in the morning. So I like that. You got a lighthouse in the background, um, sunlight coming up in the morning on the horizon. So beautiful artwork on here. And definitely just can't wait to get to this beer. Um, I haven't done nothing from Tampa in a while. But either way, I've been waiting to get into this. Got this, I'm gonna say probably a month or so ago. So this is time, definitely time for me to review. Pour it gorgeously. Nice, nice, nice. Nice and dark, very opaque with a beautiful tan caramel head that's just sitting there. If y'all can see that, that just looks beautiful. Holding that, that carbonation, holding that head there for a while. So it's a good thing, at least, at least for me, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into this. Let's see what the uh, nose is. Straight up coffee. Then some roastiness. A little bit of chocolate nose on there as well. Some subtle uh, dark fruit too. All right, cheers, y'all. Let's get into it. Okay. Roasty chocolate coffee up front. Smooth, 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 smooth finish of more coffee on the back end and very, very light. This is kind of like drinking a, a light or medium roast coffee. And if you know porters, porters aren't as heavy as stouts. Most of the time, they're just very, very, they're much thinner. I like to look at them as like the little brother to a stout, just in my opinion. Um, they're very light. You can drink more of these as opposed to drinking stouts because stouts have more uh, heavy, heavy stuff going on with it. This one right here is perfectly balanced, and it's a very, very smooth uh, porter. Definitely very good. Yeah. I'm liking that coffee. Now, I'll be honest with you. I was looking forward to having this more coffee profile in here, but actually it works well for this beer because if it was more, then it would outbalance the beer itself. Like, for something so thin that, as this is, and it had that much coffee in there, it wouldn't work. But they knew what they were doing. Perfect balance. Like I said, it's like having a light or medium roast coffee in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. You can drink this any time of year. That's just my opinion on it. This one right here is definitely a, a very good beer, and I'm giving it a thumbs up. Definitely giving it a thumbs up. I'm liking what I got going on. I'm loving the uh, flavors. I'm loving all the notes I have in here. And the aroma is just crazy. And to be honest with you, it gives you kind of a, a sweet, semi-dry finish, in my opinion, enough to keep you coming back for more and more. So I'm gonna take another sip on that note. Yeah, and it drinks like 6%. So this is something I recommend if you guys are in the area, if you're in the Tampa area, get this. Definitely. I've never heard of 81 Bay. Um, and they did the collaboration with themselves and Alert Coffee. I'm going to have to look them up as well. I am a coffee drinker. I like coffee, but I'm a more of a, a dark roast espresso. I can just drink that all day. I don't care for the light and medium roast. That's not my thing. Give me something that's dark, full body, full of flavor. That's how I like to do it. This is why I like uh, stouts and porters and, and Belgians, because I like complexities and full flavor. And I like my stuff dark and heavy. But anyways, this, this fits the bill, does what it does for me. And like I said before, I recommend y'all, if you haven't had it, definitely go get it. If you guys are new to my channel, as always, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you guys show some love, leave some feedback as usual. Um, shout out to everybody that's been showing love since day one. Thank you guys. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't keep doing what I'm doing without y'all support. Appreciate y'all. And as always, stay safe and be healthy. Cheers to the next time I see y'all. Peace.